Nanosurf is um, a Swiss company. Uh, we design, manufacture, and sell atomic force microscopes. So an AFM is a type of scanning probe microscope in which a sharp probe is scanned or rastered across a surface, and you get topographical information from that. It's similar to how an SEM works, or scanning electron microscope. So instead of an electron uh, beam, we have actual a physical probe that scans the surface. We get really high spatial resolution, atomic resolution in XY, and we can get subatomic resolution in, in the Z-axis. Another benefit of atomic force microscope is you actually get quantifiable Z information of your sample, which is not available in other techniques. We just launched the Drive AFM. It's a, a brand new AFM, which uses a kind of a unique type of cantilever excitation. We use photothermal excitation instead of the standard piezoacoustic uh, excitation. Benefits of photothermal excitation is that it's very clean and you get a very clean response from the cantilever. You can see the resonance in air or in liquid without any crosstalk with other resonances in the system. On top of that, we've also launched a new mode which we call wave mode, which is a type of off resonance tapping. So typically in a tapping mode, you run the AFM almost at resonance or just off resonance. Wave mode is a type of off resonance tapping, so we're well below the resonance of the cantilever. And um, the benefits of wave mode is that we use the photothermal effect to drive the off resonance tapping. So in traditional off resonance techniques, they use the Z actuator to do that, and most Z actuators are limited to about one kilohertz or sometimes 10 kilohertz. So that limits the imaging bandwidth that you can do. With photothermal excitation, we can actually drive the cantilever off resonance all the way up to the resonance of the cantilever, so we can go much, much faster. The biggest benefit is that you can image in air or in liquid uh, very easily. So when you do a, a frequency sweep in liquid, you actually get only the resonance of the cantilever. And so setting up an experiment in liquid is, is trivial. It's almost as easy, easy as doing it in air. So the, now it's a, that's a major bottleneck for a lot of researchers when they're working in liquid. Another thing is stability. The cantilever amplitude can stay the same for hours on end. It doesn't, uh, it's not affected by the changes in, in the environment. So that that's, uh, makes, for researchers, it's a lot easier to understand that if, when you start an experiment, the amplitude of the cantilever is going to be the same as, as after a couple hours. Because wave mode, they're able to, to image samples with very gentle forces. Researchers have actually been using it to image things like virus capsids. And um, recently, a researcher at the University of Lund in Sweden uh, imaged a virus capsid on top of a, a liver uh, tissue. And it's really the only technique you, you can use to image at such a soft forces. Traditionally, virus capsids, if you try to image it with traditional tapping mode, uh, you just apply too much force and you collapse the, the, the virus capsids. Or if you image it in contact mode, which a lot of researchers do, you, you could end up uh, just scraping the, the virus capsids off, off the substrate. So with wave mode, you, can, you have the benefits of both a really low force and you're, you're tapping the, the material so you, can, so you don't disturb it very much.